Everyone should go here. <laughs> Playing some TVZ on Colosseum. Interesting map, very old school. Um, I am getting back to C minus, hopefully. And I am playing against a uh, C guy. standard uh, currently I'm just uh, you know as usual going for a uh, three barracks build on uh, three bases on two bases but instead of adding barracks uh, as the game goes on I now add just factories and star ports to eventually be uh, make switching if necessary that duty here is going for speedlings first you have to be careful against uh, dudes like that C minus Zerg you might have a uh, very strong macro I guess it's really what you want to do. Um, it is just so strong, speeding openings like that. Get a roll. Three parts for duty. Standing by. Outstanding. Jack 
What a fucking shitty opening for for me. And I can't even scout.
Christ. <sighs> I never thought I could win this game actually. Look at that. He was pretty tough. I'm gonna just uh, be mannered. Quick look at the replay, guys. Jesus Christ, one of my best TVC. And some pretty fucking nice fights. And actually started very, very well. Uh, he had so many lurkers out of my base. I couldn't go out. Um, I was really scared of early defilers and dark swarm directly in my main I was very very annoyed by this zergling run by at the start as well it was very annoying I played very bad I think I later scouted your factory switch feel free to add me actually I played well which is rare hiding his hydralis then here so I couldn't scout it so I assume <laughs> so yeah I was assuming it was a uh, spire Third year. Good sunken placement, you could have actually built a few sunkens here. Just looking quickly at the replay, yeah. It was very annoying here. Yeah, we must rub it now, I must go so we can play tomorrow. Alright. I was very late to be, you know, I was very late to have my third because he destroyed it basically. So that was very, very annoying. He was placing his lurkers perfectly. Um, good number of drones. So here I go out with my tanks and science vessel. I think it was a good decision to try to attack directly this third here. And I think I replayed the map like I was supposed to. So it was very important for me to destroy this third here. So at this point there is nothing he can do really. And I like his, st his strategy by the way, going for very early um, ultra risks like that. I could have actually reinforced this push here. Here I think I take a good fight. Yeah, it was a very good fight. And uh, Ultralisks, when they don't have the uh, like plus 5 armor, they are not so strong against Bio. So here I decide to really try to destroy this third here. So that's always quite a victory when you are able to destroy your opponent's third like that. Yeah, and I was able to do as much damage as possible with those uh, marines and medics. I had a decent macro, I guess. And I think it was a good decision for me to very quickly make switch since he was going for a heavy ultra composition. 
So at this point I am at 125 supply against 101. So 101 supply when you have ultra risks it's actually quite dangerous. He takes his third here again. And uh, here is my max switch. Um, I did it quite early because basically I had enough bio troops to defend myself. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, yeah, good decision from him. He takes his force right away, double expanding. That's what you should do when you have lost your third, basically. And he was also able to um, save a few drones. I wasn't uh, aware of that. So here I have to retreat, I lose many troops, but obviously he can't engage as far as soon as uh, he is in, uh, in range of my tanks here. Uh, he played very very smart, uh, going here for the third instead. You can see that plus one plus one marines are actually quite strong against uh, Ultra risks like that, some new radiation, and here I think he shouldn't have engaged. I wasn't even sieging. I just, I just knew this fight was won. So, yeah. But in any case, I think at this point, as a Zerg, as long as you are trading, uh, it's perfect. Uh, so quickly again, yeah, double evolution chamber. Um, he really played very, very, very well. Here I am forcing him to build a few sunkens because uh, I was planning to produce like, you know, boring fire bats. And I wonder how many ultra risks I, ki I killed this game. Um, obviously a lot. So here I was trying some kind of run buys. I really thought he was uh, he had a base here for a long time, but actually no, that was his third. So I was quite surprised to see he didn't have a base here. So here at this point, you know, I'm trying to land mines everywhere, just uh, to be able to destroy units for free and to give me the map control. Mines are really key here. I think there is a uh, really beautiful fight that will happen just right there. Um, and I think I really did a, um, it was a very good decision to kill this base here and go directly here where he had all his tech, all his um, macro hatches and all. So no, actually here I go for some kind of uh, irradiated vessel and look at that. I mean, when I saw all those ultra risks, I actually saw, you know, I had lost. Here I kill a good lot of, a, a good uh, number of workers. I mean, that could have been better, but you know. Yeah, but really when I saw all those 11 ultra discs, I was like, oh shit, I'm dead, you know. But that's, uh, you know, you should never underestimate the power of uh, a good line of tanks. I had some good irradiations. Uh, the splash damage was really awesome on those hydras. Trying to take a base here again. Um, I was very low on resources all game long, um, never mining from a lot of mineral lines. Here I forgot that, but I was actually planning to, pr to produce a few fire bats as well to deny those exp those expense. He did a good job of, um, you know, he did a good job hiding his bases. And here I didn't even have any mines, but I think that fight was really beautiful. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that fight was really a turning point in this game uh, when I saw that I basically won that fight look at that, that was a one of my best fights ever and um, I just take all my troops and that's the moment, you know I thought, yeah, I was behind all game long but now I have a window to win this game here he actually kills a few of my SCVs he tries a run by but I have a decent macro so that's not gonna do much that base is destroyed, he didn't cancel it by the way. And uh, here um, he goes for um, Queens. He had a lot of resources actually, but he was losing a lot of troops. 
here I was surprised again not to see any base. I didn't know he had one here. That was a very nice uh, hidden base from him. And yeah, at this point I think I'm quite confident and I am realizing that I can win. So I am just playing very patiently, not doing any crazy move, just, you know, playing patient and the way you are supposed to play when you are playing mech, just uh, basically playing Terran Hobe, Terran Broken, uh, you know, just um, be basically a map abuser. Here you see that's a nightmare, plus two tanks are very dangerous. I didn't have much resources, look at that, I mean my mineral income was very low. Um, my multitasking wasn't very good, but my decision making and my fights were all pretty decent really. And look at that, all the time it's very expensive um, pack of Ultralisks which are dying. And these by the way are now, now plus 5 plus 3 Ultralisks. And here once again a very beautiful fight. Um, he was coming from both angles. Um, those mines could have been way more dangerous, by the way. Uh, he uses broodlings um, with his queens, that's very nice. I have a few Goliaths just now. Look at that, he's destroying all my tanks. But right now, I destroyed his micro hatch and I'm about to kill his workers and try, you know, to destroy all these buildings. So at this point, basically, he has to build back his technology. And uh, yeah, basically I've been quite able to deny his mining all game long. And now I have securized this base, so while I was pushing in his main, I was making sure that I was safe here, and I was going to place my tanks here, and slowly but surely go directly in this base here before he was able to build his, his technology back. So yeah, I think I, I won this game thanks to my decision making. And I think it was a very, very beautiful game, and I was so happy to see this GG at the end. Alright guys, thanks for watching.